Well, good morning. It is Friday, March 21st, 2014. I have just arrived at Family Planning, Haynesville. Of course, we're at the corner of South State Street in East Washington. It's a little bit after 10 o'clock. I arrived here and finished up a rosary as soon as I got to my station and the very first person to greet me, well, that's not true. There was a nice man who walked by and said hi to me. The first car that said anything to me was the woman driver who said, you gotta be kidding. And I think she was hoping that I would react or respond so that she could continue arguing her pro-choice or pro-abortion viewpoint, but I did not do it. I just kept praying quietly but out loud and I think she was disturbed that I did that. She didn't say any more words to me, but she stared at me as she turned the corner after the light turned green. So, I hope that's my one quote-unquote rabble-rouser of the morning and that I'm going to have a nice, pleasant time here. It's supposed to warm up into the 40s. I'm hoping to stay more than one hour. So I'm going to get back to my prayers and I'll get back to you later. Well, it's about 20 minutes to It. I got through all of my prayers while I was out on the street. With the exception of the Holy Rosary, I prayed on the way here. It took about three and a half hours. Now, it might have taken a little less time, but I was talking to people while I was out here. Several people stopped to say hi and just share a few words. One woman stopped just to encourage me and she uh, she wanted to know how much she appreciated what I was doing because she worked at an abortion facility. Actually, she worked at two abortion facilities over the course of about 14 years. And I said, I bet you saw a lot of sorrow in there. And she said, I did. I saw a lot of sadness, a lot of grief. I also saw a lot of relief. But I had a change of heart. I asked her if she was in church now, and she is. She was totally at peace with who she was. She knew she had received, I mean, she didn't say all this out loud, but I knew that she knew she had received Christ's forgiveness for her participation in the abortion industry. Um, she worked in Cleveland. She worked at preterm in another place she named. I couldn't remember the name of the place, but she just wanted to encourage me. Uh, she. She came right after, she came up on the sidewalk just seconds after another woman had been shouting at me from her car and she, that real woman rattled me but the woman coming right after her and encouraging me gave me such peace. I was so thankful. I felt like, like my guardian angel had just nudged her over to stop and talk to me and it was really very peaceful after she encouraged me. She stayed about two or, two or three minutes and then she went on her way. God was really good to me today. Um, I prayed three and a half hours plus. I talked to a lot of people just saying hi. People were generally very friendly. That's usually the case on a beautiful, sunny, pleasant day like this with no wind, even if it's cold, which it is. It's, it's in the 30s, but it just was so nice um, having nice people saying hi. Other people were saying hi to me first. I got a lot of good response from people that were driving cars and buses and trucks. I had a policeman wave at me. I had um, delivery truck people waving at me. I had a mailman just a few minutes ago walking across the street. He stared at me until I waved to him and then he waved back. Uh, it was like he wanted me to see him so he could wave. It was way cool. I've seen people I know out here. Um, also, something I've not seen before, but Mary Wynn Peaceman and herself came out the front here to assist someone removing boxes from their car and filling her car back up with boxes so apparently some paperwork was being exchanged looked like looked like maybe office supplies but she was out here actually helping the girl unload her car and loading them back in she used a she used a dolly to they must be using the elevator so they don't have to do steps and 
I don't think I've ever seen her out front before. And I'm not sure she knew who I was, but she, she saw me out here with my sign. She was in blue jeans. She wasn't dressed like a professional woman would be dressed. She may be in here on her day off and just doing time with things that don't require her to dress up. Maybe, maybe blue jeans and a, and a loose top was uh, the attire for Fridays. I really don't know, but it was, it was a surprise seeing her out here. I wasn't worried or scared or anything, and I don't think she was either. She knows I am not going to hurt her, and she is not going to hurt me. So, in any case, that was interesting. And, like I said, there were other people out here I know personally, um, and we talked, and other people have... I, I was surprised at the number of passers-by who actually said, God bless you for your hard work. You know, I'm standing here praying and holding a sign in very nice weather. I never thought of it as hard work, but it was nice of them to acknowledge that this is God's work. And uh, a lot of people have come by and just been very, very pleasant. I, I had very, very little um, feedback pro-abortion pro or pro-choice feedback from, from people in their cars. Very little of that compared to the amount of support. So that was extremely encouraging. Well, I'm going to cut this short because I'm finished. I need to go get lunch. I'm grateful God gave me what I asked for on my way here, which was no wind, warmer temperatures, and no rain. And it was absolutely lovely out here. I never needed gloves. Um... I had everything I needed to carry out my chaplets, and I'm just grateful I had this opportunity. Thank you, God, for this lovely day and this lovely experience. 40 Days for Life, Painesville, Ohio, March 21st, Friday, 2014. Bye for now.